How you doing? Welcome to Nanobug Studios. And let me tell you what Nanobug is. Nanobug is a book I wrote. It's the first hand account of the FBI and the CIA coming to Dry Ranch, Georgia and investigating my cousin who had put in an application to work in the U.S. Embassy in Russia as a maintenance man. All right? Now, uh, reference on that application was a friend of mine that me and my cousin had grew up with three doors down. And his name is Sterling in the book. I'm not going to say his real name. But um, he he's DEA agent, special agent. All right, special agent Sterling. All right, now, so what the FBI and the CIA agent find is meth labs. All right, and a lot of them. A freaking lot of them. <laughs> and these meth labs got started because I, um, I had done meth back in uh, 1990, and then in 90, uh, uh, the meth supply got cut off, and next thing I know, I smoked crack for four years, and I hated every second of that. And, but the whole, the, the whole time, I was hitting chemistry books and everything, trying to figure out how to make the meth, because I knew if I could get that meth made, I could get off the freaking crack. And I figured it out in 1998. I figured it out and I told one person. I told a friend of mine. And it took off like wildfire. Because God dang if he didn't tell everybody. And, and it, I, it was crazy. But five county, five county around here was just off the chain. All right, now, that's why this book um, is different. Because... This ain't, this ain't no targeted individual. I personally think that's a bunch of bullshit. And that I even think that it's highly, highly, highly likely that a lot of these whistleblowers are, are working for the NSA and the CIA to um, back up um, bullshit accounts and to back this stuff up um, so that the general public will look at it like they're a bunch of freaking nuts. Because that's what they sound like, a bunch of freaking nuts. Because... Uh, they, they go on about how thousands of people are are um, are, are, bu are are being harassed and stuff like that by the government and for, for no reason at all. I mean, and you, I did, I did, you got to, even some some of the NSA are are saying they're ex NSA workers or ex CIA workers and stuff like that, and and they're being targeted too and da 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 da. Uh, it's a bunch of bullshit. All right, to throw you off. This is simple technology. As simple as AM, and I think that's why this is taking off a lot, and they, they're putting these, these um, whistleblowers out there, because that main one, uh, I can't forget it, I forget it, but there's one main one, all right, this dude right here, and he came out about the same time that my book was released, right, and he's talking to um, Jesse, uh, Jesse Ventura, and uh, in one of them, uh, that, I think that's how, how he got his uh, big start, but, okay, now, I think all that was launched, because this book right here, because I, I possibly, I, now I'm not saying I was a human book, I don't know, I, ha, I never knew, but when you look at this book and, and, and you get the whole gist of it, um, there, there's a, in all likelihood, it all adds up. It all adds up. This, this, this right here is a true story, and it all adds up. And it's not about meth labs. It lay, the groundwork is laid in meth labs. But then, but, but Nanobug is what it's about. And that, that's what this book is about. So, look, you got, like I said, you got, you got um, NSA and, and the DEA involved. And, it, it's, um, and it's not no outlandish technology. It's, it's simple technology. Uh, I come up with this theory of, of this um, on a nanotechnology scale. It, it's AM crystal radio. Two crystals in a conductor. We'll say two crystals in a conductor, all right? So you take two parts crystal and a conductor, you mix it together, you throw in an amino acid that will combine with the nervous system, bam, you got nanobugs. You take these nanobugs and you put them in somebody's food or the drink or the dope or whatever, it gets in the bloodstream, combines with the nervous system, bam, you got a walk and walkie talk. All right, you've been nanobugged right there, all right? And they're just not going to pre pick people to do this to. They don't, they don't need to run experiments on the general public, they know what this will do, okay? They, they pretty, and I tell you one way they might know is because 
the, the, if, if I was a human bug, they put me through the ringer, all right? They, they went from messing with me in my window for about two months, uh, uh, running games outside my window. That's what it sounded like to me because I didn't hear them in my brain. I heard them in my ear. I heard them in my ear just like you hear me, okay? And it was real sound. It was, it was, it was as if they, they, now, theoretically, they took the microphone and put it, like, inside, inside of a house, and they went outside, the brown recluses, when I say they, I mean the brown recluses. And the brown recluses is what the renegade cops, the CIA agent, the DEA agent, and the, and the FBI agent that first appeared at my window called themselves the brown recluses. And then they grew, okay? They grew into, into more people. You know, they, they, they multiplied. They didn't grow. They multiplied, all right? Now... Um, each voice has its own personality. Each ver voice has its own sense of humor. Each voice had um, had his own attitude, uh, and it was um, and, and it wasn't just random saying. It was it. I mean, it was just it was just exactly like somebody doing exactly what I'm saying they they were doing. All right, and and they they were. Like I said, at first they they it sounded like maybe they did this. They took the microphone, they put it inside the house. They went outside the house, and and I was I'm hearing what the microphone's hearing. So when I'm in my room, ten miles away, hundred miles away, wherever, uh, I'm hearing what the microphone's hearing. So my brain puts it outside the window, right? Simple. All right. So Nanobug is based on that, and part two is coming up real shortly. So keep your eye out for it. I mean, like probably today. Because I'm going to lay out uh, a bunch of short videos like this and uh, give it to you. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Bam. Let's see it. Over with.